Have you ever needed to run 12 volts down the garden? Perhaps the power up a auto ATU or perhaps a relay to switch uh, antennas? Well, you can do it two ways. You can run a DC cable down the garden or there's perhaps a better way of doing it, using something called a bias T. So let's have a closer look. So, what is a, what is a bias T? Well, a bias T is a device that enables you to feed DC down a coax cable, an RF coax cable. The beauty of it is you can still send RF down, both transmit and receive, but you can also feed a DC voltage down that cable as well. And uh, it's called a bias T. Now, MFJ make one of these, um, like that, but you actually need two. Well, fortunately, MFJ package two into box sets, which is called the MFJ4116, which we sell and be glad to uh, supply to you. Anyway, let's get back to the uh, way it works. I'm going to put up on the screen here the circuit of the BIOS T. As you can see, it's a very simple network. It's got three um, inputs or three ports. On the left hand, on the right hand side, you can see the RF going in. That comes from the transceiver. On the left hand side, you can see the RF going out, but it's also joined by DC. <coughs> that DC is fed in from the port at the bottom. So inputs RF outputs RF plus DC and the one at the far end is a mirror image and basically you've got RF coming out of it which goes into the antenna and you've got DC which you can extract to operate um, an auto ATU or perhaps an antenna coax switch or something like that so it's a very convenient way of putting uh, taking DC down the garden without having to a supply an extra cable. The devices that MFJ make, um, the 4116, covers 1 to uh, 60 megahertz, so it's ideal for uh, any uh, HF, modern HF transceiver. And I've also shown a picture, which you can see now, of the inside of one of these bias T's. And you can see it's basically a fairly simple circuit. Uh, you can see the RF choke there, and you can also see the capacitors used for coupling um, and for uh, decoupling. So the bias T is very simple to install. The only thing I would say is that um, if you're going to put one of these outside, and undoubtedly you will do if you're going to feed DC down the cable, I would be, in, I would be inclined to put this in a plastic box. Um, MFJ don't say whether it's waterproof or not, but my gut feeling is that if you're going to put it outside for any period of time, it'd be better to put it in a plastic box. And I would suggest put it in a plastic box, uh, make holes for the cables, and then just seal around the edges with a, with a glue gun. I suppose... <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to be economical, you could put it in a plastic bag. That's that's it. That's entirely up to you. Anyway, that's the uh, MFJ4116 BIOS T. Very handy little um, package. As I say, you get two of them. And if you find these videos um, useful, then please press the subscribe button, and uh, that encourages us to carry on doing these videos. So, until we meet again, enjoy your ham radio.